Father Pierre, who still resides in the priest's house of the parish of St. Joseph Morningside in Durban, is back with old friends. I hope to make new friends on these Wednesdays of Lent 2023. To all who are listening, I greet you with affection and with the hope that all of us will make this Lenten journey with the courage to take action with ourselves. Indeed, as our Lenten theme proclaims, Lent is a season of action. Let us pray. Father, look kindly on our weaknesses and reach out to help us with your loving power. Fill our minds with your wisdom and grant us the courage to take the action which will help us grow strong in a willing readiness to be more effective as disciples of Jesus. May we strive to become living and more authentic citizens of your church as we participate in this life by our witness and involvement in this mission to and in the real world. Amen. So be it, and so it shall be. A season of action, not for action. There are times when English prepositions are really important. Of signifies something essentially immediate, real and concrete. While for provides an element of choice, of possibility. Lent is of and about immediate, real and concrete action. There is no choice or possibility about it. On Ash Wednesday, we were signed by ashes with the words, repent and believe the gospel. It was an instruction. It was not an invitation. It was a call for action. My action, your action, our action. Take a look then at the first reading of this Wednesday's Eucharist, the book of Jonah, chapter 3, verses 1 to 10. The word of the Lord was addressed to Jonah. Up, go to Nineveh, preach to them as I told you to. And Jonah went and preached, and the people believed. Jonah's action followed on the Lord's instruction. There was no hesitancy. The prophet heard the instruction and acted on it. Did I hear the call to repent and believe the gospel at the start of the season of action? Now we must hear the call of Jesus in today's Gospel reading, Luke chapter 11, verses 29 to 32. He tells us that the only sign we will be given is the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. Gerald Manley Hopkins, the well-known Jesuit priest and poet, describes in one of his verses how he hears the call. He writes, I am all at once what Christ is, since he was what I am. After we were baptized, each one of us were told, you have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Or, as Hopkins describes it, I am all at once what Christ is, since he was what I am. 
I make this truth evident in life through my actions. It is the only way we have of giving flesh to what we truly believe and what is going on in our minds and hearts. I am all at once what Christ is, since he was what I am. This is the only action sign I am able to give. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, may your Spirit help us always to remember and be enthusiastically aware that we live through our actions. They are your signs in the world in which we live. Lord, remain close to us every day of this Lenten season of action. May we grow day by day. You are my rock and rescuer. Amen. So be it, and so shall it be.